Hello, I'm Adam, and there we've got another scooter, so it's nice opportunity to do another video. Uh, as you can see, what we've got there, this is a 9-bot G2 Max. It has front uh, hydraulic suspension and rear spring suspension. And of course, it is uh, faulty. <laughs> Let me show you why. And as we can see, 20. And of course, no uh, cruise control. Uh, but in this case, we've got a blinkers horn, which is very loud and I won't try it. So, uh, in this series of videos, or maybe one video, I will see how it will go. Uh, I will show you how to unlock this scooter. Uh, this uh, one is from Germany, so it's uh, even ESC uh, region locked. And we will see how it will uh, look like, because uh, since, I don't know, sometime, it's possible to uh, install a scooter hacking firmware on those. So it's pretty nice uh, scooter uh, as a replacement for uh, G30, or in this case it will replace my girlfriend's uh, Xiaomi Pro 2. Yeah? Okay, let's get to work. It's loose, but it's... Okay. What was holding there? There was uh, probably silicon there. By the way, the battery is exactly the same as we can meet in the G30. And date of manufacture. Oh, that's something new. Okay. How to remove that? Okay, I need to. What's that? Oh, what's that? What the hell is that? Magnet. Wow, interesting. Okay, there is an imbus and. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's hard. <laughs> it screws like I'm I'm not screwing it. Fuck. Good job, Vera. No! <laughs> no! And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what now? Damn it. Yes! It slide out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm lucky. Okay, now first thing we should be able to remove the battery to let it uncharge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And connectors, what are the Okay, the last one is regarding the warranty. I will check if I can remove it without voiding. And uh, yeah, I failed. <laughs> anyway, warranty in those scooters, uh, mm, it's like in bikes. Uh, generally it doesn't uh, it, it's not applicable to a lot of things that can break, so it doesn't matter about the warranty. Um, we need to remember color. Yellow, brown, blue. Remember that. <laughs> okay? And that's it. Okay, it's out. Let's talk about how it looks. That's how it looks like. Thermal pad. 
Yeah. Uh, regarding capacitors. And those are to 33 volts. And I don't see other markings. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see them because everything is sealed. But okay. Uh, we can go through connections, uh, what the connector, where should be connected. So, uh, we've got the motor uh, harness, there is it, there it is. And, uh, yeah, of course, oh my gosh, of course we've got uh, three phases, <laughs> which goes there. Uh, this thing, wow, it's only one wire. <laughs> Because ground is uh, shared, probably, or it lacks. Uh, this uh, cable is uh, temperature sensor in a motor. Finally, we've, we've got that. Finally. And, of course, there are uh, half sensors, yeah? Where it goes, it goes on the left. Uh, as we can see, three phases, of course, on the middle. This, probably, yeah, there. And uh, the red is the temperature sensor. Those are uh, <laughs> only one. That's strange connection, to be honest. Yeah, there is no chance that you will miss uh, connectors because everything is uh, in uh, unique uh, shape. So uh, those are the dashboard, as we can see, because it goes straight to the dashboard. And uh, yes, what's next? Of course, the battery. And um, this uh, might be, yeah, it's connecting there. It might be, I hope, blinkers and horn, probably. Uh, because, yeah, I hope. <laughs> this one is uh, BMS data and it's going there. Yeah. And. Generally, that's it. A lot of cables uh, from the charger and... Okay, that's how the controller looks like on the desk. And... Uh, yeah, we need to flash it somehow. How? I saw on the internet there are available uh, this kind of clips. Uh, it's copy of the NB clip from the... I don't remember. Or whatever. And unfortunately, this thing... Uh, well, we've got uh, pins for the S-Link on the bottom. And unfortunately, uh, this is not precise. I was trying to insert it like there. And uh, in ideal world, it should uh, touch the pins and it should work. But unfortunately, I see two problems. Uh, first problem is that this is not precise and uh, it might uh, touch two pins uh, and make a short circuit and could even break the board. Those are expensive, to be honest. And uh, second problem is that I see there is a coating inside. So even if we touch the uh, pin, it can don't have contact. Oh, and third problem, if we touch it and it will have contact and we start the flashing process. If we disturb it in any way and it loses contact, we can have a break. So unfortunately, we need to uh, disassemble this thing. So, uh, we've got another clamp on another side. Oh my gosh, those are very hard screwed. Oh. What next? Uh, as we can see, there is a spring which is holding the MOSFETs. We need to remove it somehow. Slide it off. Yeah, of course. No problem. Mm. I need a base. There we go. <laughs> wow. I'm curious what MOSFETs we've got there, but unfortunately those are covered in a coating and nothing can be read. 
maybe no. Okay, that was first part. Everything is glued, and I have to. It won't work. It won't work. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Guys, officially, don't do that. <laughs> Wait for better option because oh, no way. Oh my gosh. There we go. So, uh, there we can see, there are those pins. And yeah, I was correct. We've got a uh, coating there, as we can see. So those clips <laughs> won't work. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will take it totally out. They reinforce those. And to be honest, I think there is no need to uh, add on uh, copper because as we can see, those are pretty beefy strips. Finally. <laughs> Finally, they learned. The pin out. Let me have something sharp. First pin. This one. 3.3 volt. Second pin is SWIO. Third pin is uh, SW clock and fourth pin is ground. <laughs> and uh, from the front, I'm not sure if we need both, but uh, there is a ground and there is 5 volts. I'm not sure if we need uh, 5 and 3.3 volt power supply, but uh, I think I will give it a try with only those connectors because 3.3 uh, volts is uh, not what the controller needs. So, yeah. I need a soldering iron. Okay, you can take a look. That how I think pretty good soldering looks like. Let me check. Let's connect it to PC and yeah, let's switch to PC. Okay, we are at the PC and we need a software. We need a scooter hacking reflasher. Let me open that and of course we've got a pop-up that no warranty. And uh, fortunately, by the way, there is a diagram option and you can go to 9bot and you can go to the uh, board that we are working on. And there is a nice picture, 3.3 SWDIO, SWD clock and ground. And uh, for other scooters there are two. Yeah. By the way, in G30 it was easier. And they used 5 volts. Interesting one. We will try with 3.3, we will see. Okay, so uh, we need to select a 9 bot Max G2, dear fit. We need to write there a serial number and uh, the and the of course uh, mileage that we've got and uh, let me check what I've got there okay um Mileage is like this, okay, and serial number, oh my gosh, okay, now uh, I have to connect this and press magic button, it might not work, we will see. By the way, I wrote original uh, scooter uh, serial number, which is restricted to Germany. All done. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's assemble it back. 
Okay, everything seems connected. It's time to connect the battery. <laughs> and I'm recording, let's see, explosion. <laughs> explosion. It turned off. No, I just heard the beep. Let's turn it on. Eco. Drive, sport. Uh, you won't see anything, but... We 22 kilometers per hour! <laughs> I think that's not what I wanted, but <laughs> yay! It's two more than previously. <laughs> of course, no. Uh, we need to switch to the scooter hacking application. Uh, well, success! It didn't explode. <laughs> Pairing. It got part. Uh, yes, uh, I can confirm that uh, the downgrade finished uh, successfully because uh, I had version 1.7.5 or 1.7.8 and now I have uh, 1.4.8. ESC region is still locked, but yeah, we'll try to install uh, scooter hacking firmware and start. Um, maybe you heard that beep, beep was like um, it was dying. We will see. <laughs> Hopefully not. Rebooted a few times. Scooter hacking firmware installed. Currently, a detect profile lacks a throttle car for. Yeah, that's standard. In default, uh, you've got uh, everything shut down to zero. Uh, so. Uh, Limit? Oh, they changed that to 100 kilometers. <laughs> Previously there was a, a 65. Okay, uh, let's build a curve, uh, for example, yeah, 30. Mm, nothing fancy. And motor start speed, okay. Uh, yeah. Nothing more. There is a uh, speed mode, and as we can see, ESC region is still uh, DE and is locked. We will see what will happen now. I will try to move the scooter, and we've got 29 kilometers per hour. Uh, but yeah, the battery is uh, like uh, 36 percent. Yeah. Uh, so I can confirm that Yeah, this speed is in air. I think uh, Because before I bought this I read about uh, two types of motors like in G30 and of course uh, US model got faster one and better motor and uh, Yeah, I think there is something on this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, I Can confirm that there are two types of motors by the way, we can change the region. Do not change to 20 or German unless you are sure that it come back. Blah, blah, blah. US. Will it work? Okay, and uh, I think it changed the... Um, yeah, probably it changed the uh, scooter uh, serial number because uh, we are basing on the uh, serial numbers there. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the video got pretty long, long anyway, and I was thinking that yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, blinkers are working; <laughs> they are very bright. Uh, yeah. That's, that's great. It's working. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.